Hi everyone, let us discuss this result. In this result, we have two series, summation n and summation bn. Given that both series are convergent and we have to prove that summation n plus bn is also convergent. Further, we have to prove summation n plus bn is equal to summation n plus summation bn. So when we have any result of series, most of the times we use sequence of partial sum to prove the result. So here also I will do the same. We will consider sequence of partial sum and with the help of that we will prove this result. Since we know if the sequence of partial sum is convergent, the series is convergent and if the series is convergent, sequence of partial sum is also convergent. So let us consider SNBS sequence of partial sum of series summation n. Let me write it here. Let SN be a sequence of partial sum of series of series summation a n. Okay. So SN that means SN is the sum of first n terms okay of that series. So therefore our S SN will be a1 plus a2 plus and so on n. So we have very important information that is summation n is convergent series. So let me mention here, we have, we have summation n is convergent. So this is a convergent series and we assume that it converges to capital A and summation n is equal to capital A, n running from 1 to infinity. Okay. So this is not given, but we are considering it. It is convergent and converges to some point. So I'm calling it as capital A. So the same thing we can write in this way, right? So the series is convergent. That means sequence of partial sum is also convergent. So therefore, what can we write? Therefore, sequence SN is also convergent and converges to A, right? Since the corresponding series is convergent. So therefore, sequence of partial sum is also convergent and converges to the same point. Same thing we can write in this way also implies limit n tends to infinity Sn is equal to A. I am calling it as 1. Okay. So let, uh, we have some space. Let us use now. So we have one more series summation Bn. So I am consider, I will consider summation uh, Tn be a sequence of partial sum of series summation Bn. So let, let Tn be a sequence of partial sum of series partial sum I should mention sequence of partial sum of series summation Bn. That means Tn is nothing but sum of first n terms of series summation Bn. So therefore our Tn will be B1 plus B2 plus and so on Bn. We have very important information that series BN is also convergent. Okay. So let me mention here. We have, we have summation BN is convergent and we will assume it converges to some point. We will denote it by capital B and summation BN is equal to capital B. So it is not given that it converges to B. We are assuming it is convergent. That means it converges to some point. We are calling it as B. As series is convergent, corresponding sequence of partial sum is also convergent and converges to the same point. So therefore, what can we write here? Therefore, the sequence of partial sum Tn is also convergent and converges to the same point B. Okay. So the same thing we can write in this way. That is limit n tends to infinity Tn is equal to B. I will call it as equation number two, right? See, we have one more series that is summation n plus bn. So corresponding sequence of partial sum we will denote it by un. Let, let un be a sequence of partial sum, okay, partial sum of series summation n plus bn. That means obviously un is equal to sum of first n terms of that series. So therefore, un is equal to a1 plus b1 plus a2 plus b2 plus and so on a n plus b n. Right. So that means sum of first n terms. 
that is nothing but ua so what will i do i will collect all ais and after that i will collect all bis so that's why we will have like this a1 plus a2 plus and so on n plus b1 plus b2 plus and so on bn tell me have you seen this bracket anywhere yes the first bracket is nothing but sn right and the second bracket is nothing but tn right so therefore what can we write un is equal to sn plus tn a very important thing we have got here let me write here but there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so therefore we can write un is equal to okay un is equal to sn plus tn and it is true for all n belongs to set of natural number right so after that i will apply limit on both sides limit n tends to infinity so let us see what will happen so therefore limit n tends to infinity un is equal to limit n tends to infinity sn plus limit n tends to infinity tn our equation number one says its value is a right and equation number two says its value is b so let me mention here from one and two so what we get here that sequence un is convergent and converges to a plus b so this is thing uh, we have so therefore sequence un is convergent and converges to a plus b okay so that is un tends to a plus b getting so you know that if sequence of partial sum is convergent then the corresponding series is also convergent and converges to same point so that's why we can write what is corresponding series of un that is nothing but that summation n plus bn so therefore summation n plus bn is convergent and converges to the same point that means summation n plus bn is equal to converges to the same point a plus b getting a plus b n running from 1 to infinity so some series a n plus b n converges to a plus b we denote in this way okay but what is value of a value of a is summation n and what is value of b summation b n so let me mention that thing here so this is equal to summation n that is nothing but capital a and capital b is nothing but summation b n and running from 1 to infinity so in this way we proved that summation n plus b n is convergent and further we proved that summation n plus b n is nothing but summation n plus summation b n so in this way we prove this result make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye